With the advent of the era of computing, an interesting genre of fine art called ASCII graphics was born. This is a type of graphics in which the image on the screen is formed using the characters of the ASCII table. Also, the genre of pixel art has recently remained popular, in which, in addition to pixelating images, a fairly small palette of colors is used. And in this video we will figure out how to convert an image into these types of art using the Python language, and learn how to convert not only pictures but also convert videos with the following result. Well, to implement the project, we need the following tools, the Pygame library, the computer vision module and also the Numba compiler, and along with this, a number of modules will be installed one of which will be the NumPy library. The idea is as follows, using the computer vision library, we will upload an image, video, or turn on a webcam, and using the Pygame module, we will perform the necessary transformations. So first let's figure out how to work together with these two libraries. To do this, we will create an application class with three methods, getting an image, drawing it, and a method for launching the main program loop, as well as creating an application instance and calling the run method. Select a suitable picture for the test and place it in the project folder, specify the path to the picture in the class constructor, and load the image using the OpenCV module. Since the loaded image is a NumPy array, we determine the resolution for the working window using the values for the size of the loaded image array. And based on the obtained resolution of the picture, we will create a Pygame work surface for rendering. In the drawing method we will display the image in two windows, in the first one using the Pygame module in the second using the OpenCV module. Then in the launch method we will write a standard Pygame loop in which we will check the events for closing the application, call the image rendering method, display the number of frames in the header, and update the rendering surface. Let's run the application and you can see that Pygame displays the image in an incomprehensible color and at the same time the image is turned on its side and also mirrored. This happened because the format in which the image is presented for the OpenCV module is not taken into account, and to fix this situation, flipping the image to the side will correct the transposition of the NumPy array, and the color will be returned by the OpenCV function to represent the image in the usual RGB format. And in order for the picture obtained using the OpenCV module not to interfere with viewing the image from Pygame, we will write a method to reduce this picture to a lower resolution. And having done such manipulations, now you can display any image from the computer vision module using the Pygame library. In general, this was an introductory part and now let's go directly to ASCII graphics. And in this case, in the drawing method, we will paint the Pygame surface black, we will display the converted images using a separate method where all the transformations of the original image into ASCII graphics will take place, but first of all we will determine the font size, and we also need to decide on the set of ASCII characters. And in front of you is the same table, and to create this type of art, as a rule, only a part of these symbols is chosen that can be arranged according to the so-called brightness. In general, we form a string of such characters and, based on their number, calculate a coefficient such that if we divide the color value by it, we will get the index number of the character in this string. Also, to display ASCII characters, it is necessary to select a font and, taking into account the proportion of this font, determine the step between each character. In addition, to improve performance, we will create a list of all rendered characters in white in advance. And for greater convenience, the uploaded image is now converted to black and white, and thus the color of the pixel will be determined by only one value, in contrast to three values for a color image. In the image conversion method, we divide the color values of the pixels by the ASCII coefficient and the entire array becomes consisting of the indices we need for the characters. It remains to go through the array with a step for the font, get the character by the index value and draw it on the surface of Pygame. And as a result, we can see that the original image is displayed on the screen as intended in the form of ASCII characters, and the set of such characters and font size can already be changed to your taste. So, in order to save such a picture, we implement a separate method in which we convert the Pygame surface into a three-dimensional array, transpose it and write it using OpenCV as a separate file, and then we will launch this method by pressing the S key. Run the application again, press the set key and we can observe that the converted picture is saved to the specified address. To display color ASCII graphics, you need to create a color palette. To do this, we define such a parameter as the number of levels for each RGB color channel. And for better color reproduction, we will change the set of ASCII characters, import the NumPy module, 
and in this case we will work with both a black and white image to determine ASCII characters, and a color image to determine the color for each character. And as for creating a palette, its meaning is that we will pre-render all the characters for each color. Which in turn will greatly increase the performance of the application, the palette structure itself will be a dictionary in which the characters themselves will act as keys, and the values will also be dictionaries in which tuples of normalized color values will be keys. We will normalize by a coefficient that is calculated based on the initial parameter, and this parameter, as mentioned at the beginning, sets the number of color levels for each RGB color channel. And as a result, in addition to the so-called palette, we will get a color coefficient with which we will determine the desired color for each character, then we will use this coefficient and divide the color array of the image by it. Now, when iterating over the image array, we get the value of the character and color, with the help of which we get the already rendered color ASCII character from the palette and apply it to the Pygame surface. As a result, we get an image built using color characters of the ASCII table, and now let's figure out how to use this program to convert images into pixel art graphics. For pixel art, you need to make very small changes in the program. To draw the pixelation, we will use the GFX functions from the Pygame module, for clarity, we will rename the parameters to the actual names and remove all lines of code associated with ASCII graphics. There is no need to work with a black and white image, so we make similar changes. As for the palette, it will be greatly simplified, there will be only one dictionary to determine the desired color by key, and also small changes to touch the method for converting images, we will get the desired color and then display the square filled with this color. And in such a simple way we get the representation of the picture in the form of our own pixel art. Again, we select the pixelation level and palette to our liking, and using this program as an example, now let's implement video conversion. To do this, select a video file, create a capture object for the video, and then get the next frame from the capture object with a check for its end, and in the conversion method at each step of the loop we will receive a new frame. Well, now we get the video conversion in pixel art graphics mode. But as you can see, the performance of the program turned out to be low and the number of frames does not exceed 10 units per second, so at this stage one proposed to optimize the application. To do this, we use the just-in-time number compiler and decorate one function. In this function, we will iterate over the array of the next frame, in the same place we will divide by the color coefficient, form tuples of color keys and write their positions to the list of output values of this function. Now it remains to use the accelerated function in the method of converting the next frame, and of course it is quite interesting to look at the result of such acceleration. And as you can see, we managed to increase performance by almost three times, this is another example of how useful the Numba compiler turns out to be in practice. Watching videos in pixel art is very entertaining, but let's implement the ability to record converted videos. In the application constructor, we will enter the attributes for recording, the desired number of frames, a logical variable for recording, and the recording object of the OpenCV library. Create a method for getting frames in pixel art graphics and to get it we convert the Pygame surface into a three-dimensional array and convert the color and its shape. Let's write the recording method itself, in which, depending on the record parameter, we will write frame by frame to the OpenCV object. At the same time, we can stop recording at any time by pressing the escape key, and the video recording itself will begin when the R key is pressed. In order not to get confused, we will turn off the output of the initial video stream and see how it all works. Let's run the application, press the key to record and in the duplicated window we can observe what exactly is being recorded in the video file on our computer. And if you look at the recorded file, we see that such a recording conversion method is working, so there is room for imagination to record any videos or photos. And to the logical conclusion of this video, I propose to look at the conversion options for all the considered types of graphics. Wake the fuck up, samurai. We have a city to burn. Wake the fuck up, samurai. We have a city to burn. Wake the fuck up, samurai. We have a city to burn.